Hey guys, James here from TCG University, coming back at you with another My Hero deck profile. This is going to be a My Hero only deck profile of Ur Raka. Uh, Ur Raka is a 6 hand size set, uh, 27 vitality character uh, with the air, chaos, and life symbol. We're playing our deck under chaos today. She has two abilities respond once per turn. After your charge or your high attack resolves, add it to your momentum, which is very strong in her in general. Very strong in general. Uh, enhance commit if you have one or more momentum add one of those momentum to your hand this attack is plus three damage uh this card's very that's effect very strong because not only can you use it on your turn to give your attack three speed sorry three speed not three damage three speed and then pick up another attack for later you can also do it on your turn and then have it again for your opponent's turn guaranteeing you have some attacks as well as just guaranteeing you have a block sometimes which is very very strong we're playing a very momentum oriented deck uh, in my opinion, her best card is Zero Gravity Lift. It's a three high for six throw charge. Uh, it's a five diff, but who cares? Uh, when it's added to momentum, you add a face up. And then it has the ability of, while in the momentum, you, as an enhance, remove it and force the, the current attack to, when it resolves, add it to your momentum, which is super, super strong. It deals half damage on its own. Adds the next attack to your momentum when you use it, which is super, super strong. Clears your card pool and all of our other things do cool things as well. Just super, super cool. Uh, the next deck we're playing is probably her is probably her ultra rare. It's very good longer games, but my deck's built more. Th somehow this deck's built more for short games. Every time I play it during turn two, I draw like five attacks and get to go in, I guess. But it's not supposed to be like that. Uh, it's a four diff, three control, four high for five. Uh, charge and range adds to the momentum phase up. The ability is enhance, discard momentum. Add one copy of this attack from your discard pile to your momentum. And then enhance momentum, discard one card, add this card to your hand. So while there's your momentum face up, you can discard a card to add it. If you have one of these in hand, you can discard uh, one momentum and add a copy of this to your momentum, which is very, very good. Uh, it's very good for long combos and long ter longer turns. It's very good longer game. When we get a lot of momentum, we can keep shuffling like that. Uh, the next thing we're playing is four electric surge uh, electric surge is a four high for four from the danky support it's a charge with stun one when it's added momentum we add a face up uh it has its own enhance of discard momentum to give the stack three damage and then enhance from momentum you can flip it to add the top cover deck to your momentum increase your momentum just by a bunch basically one of my favorite plays to do is just like swing with this or raka add this in play next attack flip it Get a momentum, discard momentum, do cool things, you know, really lets you go off. Uh, it's very cool to be able to, like, get a momentum uh, and then start zero, zero shaking and then using the uh, meteor showers to be able to do cool things. It's this card is a very good facilitator. And then adding it to momentum just leads into things. So, like, even if they block it, just add it anyways. Uh, then we're playing three or three. Four zero gravity capture. It's a three check, two low block, three three control, three difficulty, three control. Zero high for four. Um, I hate that it's a zero high, but what are you gonna do? It's a four check. It's a three diff. Um, when it's added, it gets added face up. Uh, enhance from the momentum. You can flip it to give something three damage, and then deadlock enhance. Add one of your momentum to your hand. Um, deadlock. This card's very good. Uh, allows you to just pick up momentum for free, like Rock already does, but as well as uh, during longer games can give damage to your throw, which is very, very strong to be able to push that damage and get the game. Uh, like I said, it's mostly an early, early like kill deck. Uh, the main kill card being home run comment. Uh, it's a three high for four, one mid block four control, uh, has powerful one, but the way this works is you can enhance to give it plus one to its powerful rating for every high attack in your card pool. So you play a bunch of high attacks in your card pool, get a few momentum, and then this now has powerful five and you drop your entire momentum at the end of a chain to then sweep them and give it three speed off for a Raka. It's just very, very good. Uh, and then add one foundation to your momentum is just the enhance on Comet, which means if you commit anything during the during that turn, you just add in, have more momentum for later. Uh, that's our attack lineup. Now we go into foundation support. I'm playing three wealthy aspirations um we're mainly playing this for the ability of flip after a card's added momentum add another add another card from the top of your deck just plus on our momentum get to the kill turn faster has a one low block super good it is unique but we're trying to flip it so it's not like it matters and having one low block means we don't mind keeping in hand to block with 
Uh, same reasons why we're playing four charged up. It's a three high check. It's a three high block, two control, uh, two check, uh, two difficulty, five check. Uh, and then response remove after a charger stun attack does damage. You choose a card in your discard pile and add to your momentum. Uh, just increasing our momentum is just very good for us. Uh, we're playing two shock treatment. Uh, it's unique, so we're only playing two of it. Two mid block, two two difficulty. Uh, enhance your com your attack discard momentum. Commit one foundation of our opponents, and then enhance destroy. Commit one of our opponents' foundations as well. Uh, it's just very, very strong. We can use our extra momentum on defense to commit our opponent's stuff. We don't, uh, not our, our, on defense, but like on offense, commit them down, make sure we push our attacks with extra momentum. On defense, we can destroy it to make sure we tap them out if we really need to. Uh, then we're playing two in Irrefutable Force of Nature. Uh, commit the Seal and Earth Fire or Water Foundation. Uh, there are very good cards in the game right now that are under a lot of those earth. You can seal things like um, You're so obvious and then uh, fire you get to seal things like I'm drawing blanks Capabilities, which I think is a very good card under uh, Bakugo support and then underwater you get to seal things like the um, Suyu has some really cool stuff and so does Toroki himself and so does, I actually, I think uh, Mineta might have some of the better water support in the set, just because of how much it hates on certain things. But you can seal a bunch of stuff like that, and then enhance, remove, you can just seal any foundation. So commit to be able to seal things every turn, or just remove to make sure you seal one specific thing. Uh, and then we're playing three cool student. Uh, I think this card's very neutrally okay. This could be a good one of the two of, I'm playing a three of it, but I use a lot of momentum in my game. It has a two high block as well. Uh, enhanced discard momentum. Your next check to play a card gets plus two. We have we always get a lot of momentum. Having extra momentum to just ditch and do things with is very good. Uh, and then the other ability, which I think is the better half of this ability most of the time, is enhance. Add this card to the top of your deck. Confirming you have a five check sometimes is very very good, especially in longer games, games where you want to control the tempo. If you're trying to stay out of deadlock, this card leaves. Just does a lot of things for right now in the format for how the deck, how games are, how the decks are playing. Uh, now we're on to uh, spam. Uh, we're playing four infinite potential. Switch things to high. As you saw, we have a lot of high blocks. Just flip, do that. Make sure we block something easy. Don't want to take a lot of damage. Things like Sugar Rocky and Nomura walking around where like sometimes you just have to face, sometimes you end up face tanking like 10 damage and it sucks. Uh, another way to manipulate that is we're playing four clever distraction. Uh, flip this high or low attack gets negative two speed. So we switch it to high with infinite potential. Give a negative two speed and then confirm our block. Super, super strong. And then we are playing three precise control. It's a three mid block with breaker one, uh, but it says we add it to hand as an enhance. So anytime we need to make sure we have a, a mid block or we want to make sure we break or somebody, we have it on board ready to go, which is also very nice. Uh, we're playing four requesting assistance. Two mid block spam that just says flip. If we have one momentum ready, something that hasn't been readied. Uh, allows us to play better on defense, have longer attack turns if we need them, uh, just by readying things. Just gives a lot of, uh, a lot of utility. Uh, we're playing three release. Uh, I think this card's very good. I'll talk about it almost every single time I see it, every time I get to play it. I think uh, having the ability to keep yourself out of deadlock and be able to block things very well. And then sometimes with the way the game plays, you might need to blow up your entire staging or just have the chance of living. I think Reciprocal Burst is one of those cards where... Having this is a very good counter to that. Uh, just being able to go, well, hey, I'm going to have to, I have two of these on board. I have to blow this all up, get minus, uh, blow up these committed foundation I committed earlier. I'll get plus four to this check. I have seven ready. I'll block this, take no damage, not immediately die to just a fast reciprocal burst. It's very, very good. I also has a high block. And then the last card we're playing is uh, Stronger in the Darkness. Uh, this just says enhance if you're char, uh, uh, not charge. If your character is committed, uh, this attack gets plus one damage. Uh, this is very, very good with our character because what we like to do is tap her, pick up momentum, give three speed, and then we can just push more damage. Uh, if we want to do it early, say we don't have enough attacks or we want a specific attack to lead into our combo, this just allows us to get away with committing our character and having something else we do. Thanks for watching the deck profile, guys. If you like my Ur Rocket deck, let me know down below. Make sure to tell me what you guys want to see in the future cool ideas you guys would like to have us check out uh certain characters you want to see us play stuff like that and as always guys stay learned